Welcome to Becoming a Writer podcast, a space where we write freely, write fearlessly and write forever. I am Rubina Gauri Gomes and as your writer friend, I want to give you the love, support and encouragement to realize, become and stay a writer for life. You can find more about our conversations and your free writer's mental toolbox PDF at rubinagomes.substack.com. Now please grab a cup of your favorite drink and let's have a quick chat. Hello my writer friends, Rubina here. For our third conversation, we are going to talk about getting started with our writing. On the first day of my gap year after graduation, I did what everyone does these days. I asked Google what to do next. I knew I wanted to learn how to write crime fiction novels but didn't know where to start. This is where Google came to my rescue. My initial thought was to learn the basics of the novel from writing to publishing and then get to business. What I thought would be a couple of months of research in the world of writing turned into 5 years of overwhelm, fear, frustration, freeze and crushing self-doubt. The internet is an excellent place to find answers. Still, when so many voices present you with so many answers to the same question, you are bound to get confused and disheartened. And none of those answers are wrong because they worked for that person. But when you try to find your answer among them, you inevitably be lost in the woods. On top of that, the internet and the world seem to be changing at such a high speed that by the time you learn one way of going about your writing dream, it becomes redundant. For the first 5 years of my writing journey, all I was doing was chasing my own tail. No wonder I felt ashamed to call myself a writer during that time. By the 5th year, I had enough. I was done feeling not good enough. I was done feeling frustrated and confused. I was done playing hide and seek with my writer self. I was done being the writer who never wrote. This time I kept every advice, tip, trick, lesson and coaching aside and told myself for the love of god write within 3 months i knew i was meant to do this the moment i gave myself permission to write write anything i opened the creative floodgates and all my creativity and subconscious knowledge of writing came rushing through and i have been having fun riding that wave ever since this was when i discovered that wherever i was was a great place to start my writing journey we think that to be taken seriously by the world we need to publish our words that is not true it is okay to just write for yourself we think that to be taken seriously by our family friends and social group we must write one fantastic best selling book that is not true writing an essay publishing it online and then having no one read it is okay your first work doesn't make or break your writing life we think that to be taken seriously by ourselves and others we need to write 2000 words daily and have a very productive and concrete routine while also taking care of our other responsibilities that is not true you can write one line daily and since you wrote it yourself you are a writer then there will be some days when your writing will need to take a back seat because your responsibilities need your attention and that is cool too that's life We think that to be taken seriously by our readers we have to write something worthy something profound something that will move our readers and then we think that what we have is not worthy profound or impactful enough for them that is not true if you have some words based on experience and introspection and come from a place of love and hope then what you have is absolutely worth writing and being read by others Starting your writing where you are will help get your writing gears churning. That's what we want, momentum. Once you get your writing into motion, it will stay in motion. Your writing will provide more to write about. And then, over time, you will learn the skills required to write the way your writer self wants to write, not what's working for others, but what's working for you. Start by writing small. When I sit down to write, I tell myself I don't have to write a magnum opus in every writing session. I don't put that unnecessary pressure on myself. I now start small, a couple of sentences, a page or two. This is a good enough place to start. Once I get into my writing flow, I'll automatically write more and better. Start by writing from your heart. I now only write what speaks to me, what lights me up, and I write with love and passion behind it. When you write what touches you, it will touch you back and also your readers. Start by writing about your interests. 
This is one of the easiest way to write and to relate to others. Books, movies, flowers, birds, the moon, Japanese stationery, coffee, anything and everything, person, place, thing, feeling, under the sun can be written about. And there always will be people who will relate to you because, let's be honest, you can't be the only one interested in Japanese stationery. Start by writing what makes you curious. Things that make you wonder. Why did something happen the way it did? How did it happen? What was the result of it? What if we do it differently? When I share these thoughts, something amazing happens. The readers of my thoughts let me know that I am not the only one thinking or feeling that way. Knowing you are not the only one curious about something makes you feel less lonely. Start by writing about your life experiences, the lessons you have learned, the mistakes you have made, that unique memory that makes you smile or cry. What would you have done differently or would you? Writing about your life experiences makes you reevaluate them from a distance and enriches your life and the lives of those reading them. Start by writing what you're ready to share. Don't share what you're not prepared to share. I want to write and share about my not so fatherly father and how his negative behavior affected me and my family. Still, I won't do it until I feel safe and secure enough in myself with this topic. Sharing a personal vulnerable life story is like putting a piece of your heart out there and you don't want some negative comment or action to trigger a negative feeling in you. First make peace with those parts of your life then decide if you wish to share them with others. You don't need to share everything. Write self judgment free. When writing don't say to yourself I shouldn't write that. What will my family think about this or this is crap no one will read this. Give yourself the freedom to write judgment free. Any negative thought that stops you from writing prevents you from fully embracing yourself as a writer. We don't want that. Start by writing as if you are writing someone else's story. It helps to write as an observer. Instead of thinking this is what happened to me, think this is what happened to your name. Instead of thinking I felt lonely, think your name felt unloved. Even though your writing is personal, don't take it personally. Seeing and writing it from a third person view makes writing your thoughts and feelings easy. Start by writing with belief in yourself. We have spent a long time doubting ourselves and our writing. Society, family, friends and peers, social media and our own negative self-talk have made us think we are not that special, that we have nothing worth sharing. To that I say, for a change, believe in yourself and your writing and give it a try. You know what happens when you doubt yourself. Nothing. Nothing happens. So maybe the reverse will work in your favor. Believe even skeptically that something good might happen. At least that's what happened to me and it worked out satisfactorily. Well, that's it for today. Next time we meet, we'll talk about believing and identifying as a writer and why it is important. Until then, keep writing my friend. Thank you for catching up with me today. I hope you found some inspiration that could help you write freely, write fearlessly and write forever. You can listen to our previous conversations at rubinagomes.substack.com. There you'll also get access to my other essays published every Wednesday and your free writer's mental toolbox PDF to help you enjoy every writing session. You can also find me on Instagram at becoming.writer. See you later.